Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. To Mass Effect 3, this is Hill, and we're in the war room this time, on the Normandy. It's where we left off in our last episode. We're just going to let this game take us where it may. I mean, there's just so much to do right now. Let's head back out to the CIC. I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Uh-oh. Let's talk to a specialist trainer. Commander, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. It could be important. Grissom Academy is requesting help. Uh -oh. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. And I hope you all remember David Archer from Mass Effect 2. I'm trying to remember the name of the DLC. Overlord! The Overlord DLC where he was strung up with tubes and wires through his arms and his eyes stretched open. Yeah, that David Archer. Okay, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any mm -hmm. event, yes, it whoever was. faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Alright. Nice work. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Grissom Academy investigation has been unlocked. All right, let's go down to the crew deck. We haven't talked to Garrus since he's come on board. And as you know, a principal part of these Mass Effect games. Who is this guy that keeps walking around that I can talk to, but doesn't talk to me? Okay. Alright. I thought you might have something important to say. But a principal part of these Mass Effect games is talking to your crewmates. So let's make sure. And it's looked like from punching James in the face, we got the fortification bonus power. So who knows? I can't remember what we would get. Uh-oh, where's Garrus? Oh, there he is. I don't know what we get from talking to other people. Hopefully it's something good. Looks like you've settled in, Garrus. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. Hmm, I can relate. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. 
Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah, but getting back to that boy that uh, Shepard saw on Earth, according to the doc indoctrination theory, that was just an illusion. There really was no boy. But again, as we know, Bioware just admitted that the story was what it was. And to just take the story on face value, it makes the story that much disappointing that it wasn't indoctrination. Anyhow, I'm not going to keep harping on that. Oh, uh, let's say it won't be easy. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? Let's ask about Garrus' task force. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Hmm. Gosh. Makes for a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Hmm. Any results? What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. All right, let's ask about our chances of winning. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. No doubts? After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Hmm. Let's ask about his family on Palavin. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Hmm. No. Try not to worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get 
just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Mm. Let's ask about Primarch Victus. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Hmm, well, maybe it could be you. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. All right, well, we'll leave. Oh, we did it. We got armor piercing ammo unlocked. All right, let's, we need to do some more talking. Let's go back and visit with Liara. Maybe this is a good time. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. All right. Do we have any new intel? No. Liara? Hello again, Shepard. Uh, let's ask about being the Shadow Broker. What's been happening with you as the Broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old Broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. Hmm, how'd you get away? What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. Oh, gosh. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Mm, and neither did I. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. Mm. People, I'm afraid to ask this question. What happened to Farron? So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. All right. Well, he's alive. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the information drone. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Wow. All right, so what's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Hmm. All right, looks like we have completed and exhausted our conversations. I'll see you later. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Um, anything? Warp ammo? Stasis. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Let's use the broker terminal. 
Okay, Alliance Interrogation Record Cerberus Operative. Alliance Interrogator, one, ugh. Check out these implants she's got jammed into her face. Huh, What? what is this? Okay, well, what, well, we'll just move on. All right, so anyway, we have a message from Operative Farron. I made contact with Tazik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you put me in charge of scouting the Terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long. If things get worse, some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when did the odds ever stop? The Broker. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. We're not going to read this, but if you want to pause... And go through here. Okay. Liara, can I talk to you again? I really want... Feel free to look around. I want another bonus power. Alright, let's go. I don't think there's anybody else I can talk to. Where, you know what? Where is Edie? I do not know. Oh, maybe she's in the, this core area? The AI core? She's not. Huh, you know, that's something that I do not remember from the two and a half times I played Mass Effect 3. Maybe she's up with Joker. That would make sense. All right, so Commander, I. You may want to check in on shuttle pilot what? Cortez down in the armory. Okay. All right. Hold. Let me go check on Joker. And I am aware that we do need to get to Grissom Academy fairly soon, or else it will be taken by Cerberus. Edie is, is she is up here. Okay, hello. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. Hmm. Pull yourself together. She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so. Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet. Sweet flexibility. Mm, mm, I am mm, mm. right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Can we talk to her? Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. Yes, perhaps we should. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Yeah, you do that. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Okay, I'm not sure where this is coming from. I expect good judgment? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, 
I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? I think you should choose your own path. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. Okay. I got rep two reputation, Paragon reputation, Edie. Come on, don't you have a power or something you can give me? Yes, Shepard. Let's ask about her body's capabilities. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies. Not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Hmm, curiosity seems very... organic. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Hmm. Interesting. Let's ask about her work. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. Okay, you experiment with it. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Hmm. All right, let's ask about the new body. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. You like things. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. She's amazing. Good lord, joking. Wow, and she did it when she was just a, a globe in Mass Effect 2. Anyhow, let's ask about Normandy's escape. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. You deceived them? Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. 
<laughs> Good lord. Okay, that's all for now. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Still nothing? Anything else? Shepard, you are staring. Okay. Joker, anything? Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there, and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something to calibrate it. Um, he's working on the calibrations as we speak, Joker. All right, let's go. Okay. Now, I hope I don't mess this up. I do want to go and visit Caden in, in the hospital. Commander, you have an encrypted oh, message from a... What? Miranda Lawson. Miranda? Where is that? Is it here? Okay. Well, we've got other messages from R Rickard Gaskin. Project Phoenix. Thanks to the data you recovered from that Cerberus lab on Sanctum, along with intelligence from a Turian raid on a separate facility, we have determined that significant that a significant project termed Phoenix is underway on Trident in the Hades Nexus. We believe the Cerberus presence there had been eliminated, but we were clearly mistaken. Admiral Hackett is ordering N7 brigades to take the facility. We would like you to meet an ANN news crew and escort them to the facility in the immediate aftermath of the attack. With the modification such as what you witnessed on Mars, we think an exclusive and widespread publicity campaign should hinder Cerberus's recruitment and might encourage more defectors. And here it is from Miranda, Commander. I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. From Liara, Shepard, someone identifying himself as Rare Arms Dealer has contacted an agent within the Shadow Brokers Network, attempting to find you. He has conducted business with the previous broker though his exact identity eluded even my predecessor. While he is less of the acquisition specialist that he claims to be and more of a battlefield scavenger, he does have some shockingly underpriced merchandise that you may find useful. My sources indicate that he has recently been buying vast amounts of EZO, that's element zero, people, and life support equipment, though his intentions for these purchases remain unclear. While I'm certain as to his exact location, his ship is somewhere in the Rosetta Nebula, probably plundering Ezo from a recently downed vessel, if you care to investigate. All right, we're done with our new messages for now. What is the Normandy Manifest? Oh, this is this is part of the EGM thing. So I can assign an XO. Huh. Oh wow, I could make Edie my executive officer. You know what? I'm making Garrus the executive officer. Okay, Marine Officer, who can we... We'll do Vega. Okay, Chakwas is our Medical Officer. Cortez is the Supply Officer. I think that's... Oh, well, a Propulsion Engineer. Is that, is that Adams? No, we don't have one. No Power Engineer. Okay. All right, we'll go with that. Equipment manifest. So we can 
Now we can just see what vessels we have. Okay, currently only the Kodiak. All right, interesting stuff here. Oh, I actually have access. Shepherd, human, Spectre status recognized. Oh, thank you. We have access to the Spectre terminal as well. Okay. All right. Oh, well, we've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of assignments. Project Phoenix, Salvage the Dealer, Assignment STG Base Attacked. Now these are these are the EGM things. Okay, Vocation Code Handbook. All right. All right, we're leaving Sanctum. Headed back to Skepsis. All right. Whew. We scan. Oh no, the Reapers are coming. Come on. Can I investigate this? All right. Two hundred units of fuel. Thank you. All right. So we've got the hundred percent of assets. Let's go. Alright, Sigurd's Cradle. Look at all this stuff. It's starting to light up here. The dealership. I really want to see what these um, new missions are. This, this sounds exciting. Okay, so Citadel. Meet Dr. Bryson. Meet Arya Talok. Um, Alright, we're going to go back here and meet Caden or see how he's doing. Although that's not an option here that's showing up. But here we go. Let's land. Or let's dock. Um, wow, Alliance docks. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action. The Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. And I hope nothing breaks out during this visit like an invasion from Cerberus. Alright, here we are at Huerta. Yes. Memorial. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. Uh oh. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half. All right. Enough. 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 Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Mm. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Okay, I don't know... What rock you crawled under, miss? It stopped stirring up trouble. All right. Let's go ahead. We got lots, well, not lots of money, but let's go ahead and increase our metagel capacity. Oh, we can increase it again. Okay, so we've gotten two increases in metagel. Cause it's only gonna get tougher from here, folks. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. Uh oh. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for sorry use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, 
I'll hold for as long as you need. All right, they're having trouble getting through to Grissom. We're going to have to hurry. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? Hey. Shepard. I didn't know if you'd come. Because of what I said on Mars? Yeah, look. Never mind. I'm glad you're here. What did Adina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. Hmm. How are you really? You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, well, why did you ask me to come? You asked, I'm here. It's good to see you're okay. Thanks. Is that really the only reason you wanted me to come by? After Mars and after doubting you, I just wanted to make sure that we're okay. Clear the air. Kate, we've been through rough missions together. Had each other's backs. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. You sided with me about Vernus. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? Yes, we are. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Major. This war needs you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's something you can see at Shepard's eyes with the biotic power and Caden's regular eyes. You can definitely see who's the more powerful of the two. <laughs> Does he have anything else to say? Something else, Shepard? Uh-oh. Okay. How are your biotics? You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty-tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. More experienced? Yeah, could be. I think I'm a better soldier than when I served with you. Okay. But you're not as powerful as Shepard. All right, what have you been up to? Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to tell you that. No, you don't. All right, let's ask about returning to active duty. You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? <sighs> I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. <sighs> well, the future flashed for me. 
the anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. Let's ask about Caden's family. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver, but Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope... Well, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Can we talk about Horizon? Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. But I don't know. Even back on Mars, I mean... Things were rough between us. So how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just... Put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. Okay. This is a good talk. Alright, we'll talk later. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. All right. Now, hopefully, that's we got four reputations. Is there anything else? Something else? What? No, that's it. I should probably get going. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I thought there was going to be get more get conversation. Going. Um, where where are my special powers? What about Reeve? Can I have Reeve? <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. Um. Listen to me. Those prototypes are vital. We need That's... these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Yes, we do. Sometimes overhearing conversations can give us missions. Oh, we did get one. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. All right, so... Let's see, is there anything else in here? Nope, everyone's being quiet. Okay, let's go. I do apologize if uh, this episode is going to run long. But I tell you, it's it's the lore, it's the conversations. That's the stuff that really, to me, makes Mass Effect interesting. Wait. Is under attack, he is Dr. Raven? I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Uh-oh, people. I see a familiar face. Thane. <coughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Hmm. Kepral Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Hmm. How long will you live? Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Oh my gosh. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. 
no fears. It is a good end to a life. Hmm, can't you come with me? I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You can still help. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Does it hurt? Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Okay, well, that's it for now. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Mm, this was so sad when he moved on. I'm starting to get emotional now just thinking about it. Let's let's go. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Oh Please wow! Look at all these places here to go. I think I know Arya wants to meet us, and but we've got to Very get to Grissom Academy. We we cannot keep delaying it. The rest of these people will just now have to wait. At docking bay D24. All right, I know I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. Apparently, we can leave this reporter. Shepard, there you are. Ah, oh, and there you are, Miranda. It's good to see you. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. It was devastating. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What can I do? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Tell me more. You will. What have you been doing? It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. 
I am. Let's ask about her father. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Let's talk about Cerberus. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Let's talk about leads on the Citadel. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Okay, well, I think we have exhausted our conversation. I should go. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Hmm. Man, I wish I could take Miranda to uh, Grissom Academy. All right, let's go. And let's hope we don't have another one of those dreams. Here we go. Watch, we're going to have one, aren't we? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Wait, why is everything red? Where are we? Okay, I didn't realize we had Marines. Has something changed since I've been gone? What? Okay. Alright, well that's good, that's good. I don't know, it just looks a little different, the lighting or something. I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, folks! You've got new messages, Commander. Yeah, these Marines weren't here. I guess now that I've, uh, you know, made people my XO and all that kind of stuff, things are starting to change. Yeah, thank you. Yes, okay. All right, so we're going to end the video here, and in our next episode, we have got to hurry to Grissom Academy before it's too late. This is Hill, and I'm out.